Yo, what's going on, guys? It's your favorite YouTuber back with another story. I hope you are having a great day. As always, if you don't have a lot of time and not interested in all of the bullshit I have to say, I will leave a timestamp in the description for when the story starts. As you may know, I made a Discord server and we have a self-promotion chat and some of you did post your links there, so I decided to give you a shout out. I was really surprised by Huyo. I have no fucking idea how to say your name, but your content is fucking great, so check him out. We also have JST in the Discord who is a photographer and some of his photos look fucking insane. I will link their channels and Instagram down below. Thanks everyone for joining the Discord and if you are interested just click the first link in the description and let's get into the story. According to YouTube guidelines, videos discussing drugs or dangerous substances for educational, documentary and artistic purposes are generally suitable for advertising so long as drug use or substance abuse is not graphic or glorified. The following video does not glorify the use of drugs, instead it attempts to stop people from trying it and is a form of entertainment. The most stoned I've ever been. So this happened quite some time ago, probably like like nine months and it was shortly after the first time I got high. I did make a video about that so check that out if you haven't. So I was still pretty new but at least now I could roll the joints myself or kind of at least now I mixed the hash with tobacco. Anyway so me and a couple of friends decided to hang out one day and catch up since we haven't seen each other for a while. One of them was Kevin and you might remember him from the first time trying hash video. So Kevin is like James Charles 2.0. In other words he likes straight men especially when he's fucked up and i was the only man there so that was a problem but i will get into that later so we originally planned to get high the next day with a bigger group but we were pretty hyped at this point so we decided to smoke two days in a row this is when i still had my motorcycle license so i drove over to let's call her emily so emily was home alone and she had a fucking jacuzzi so i'm like fuck yeah we will hang out at your place so i bring some hash with me probably like two grams keep in mind that hash is way stronger than weed so it was more than enough for us so i get there and i was the only one there who knew how to roll a joint but i still wasn't very good at it so it probably took me like 30 minutes to roll four joints uh we didn't have uh, the long rolling papers either so we had to buy some small ones at the store and they fucking sucked balls somehow i managed to roll some smokable joints i was pretty proud of myself okay not gonna lie so we went outside and lit up two of the joints and as everyone knew to smoking we started started coughing like a motherfucker but mommy didn't raise a quitter so we better believe we finished both joints and then we hopped into the jacuzzi. There was only one problem, I didn't have my shorts with me so I had to jump in with my boxers. Of course Kevin didn't mind that at all but who can blame him, I would definitely fuck myself if I was gay. At this point we started to feel it just a bit but we wanted to get really fucked up so we lit up the last joint and this is where Kevin started to act... Uh, how do I put this uh, gay? He started to act gay as shit. I don't hate gay people, okay? But if I say that I am not interested multiple times and you don't stop, I will get mad. I don't give a shit about who you like fucking, okay? That's not for me to decide, but don't fucking try that shit on me. But what did he do, you may ask, okay? Calm down, I'm going to tell you. So as we smoked the last joint, Kevin wanted to try something, so he inhaled the smoke and then he turned to the other girl and like kissed her while he exhaled the smoke into her lungs. I hope you get my point but anyway so he started fucking nagging to also do that on me and i was trying not to be a cunt so i said not right now so we send the joint around one more time and he looks at me takes a fat rip and then signals me to get closer and again i'm like i don't want to i didn't want to kill the mood so i was trying to laugh it off but it was really fucking annoying at this point so after i denied him one more time he's like it doesn't mean anything why are you like that and he started to get angry with me because i didn't want to fucking kiss him honestly i didn't know how to react because he was so upset that i felt i was doing something wrong i was also really fucking baked at this point so my brain was basically on vacation and i wasn't thinking straight but neither was kevin get it because he's gay <laughs> and I wonder why I have no friends. Anyway, so at this point, I tried to finish the joint as fast as possible so he would fucking stop. Not a good idea. When it kicked in like 20 minutes later, I felt like the time slowed down and that was probably the most relaxing feeling I've ever had in my life. Actually, that's a lie. The second time I tripped on acid, I smoked a big joint with weed in my room and that was probably the best I've ever felt in my life. But that's a story for another time. So anyway, back to the jacuzzi. I was having a great time. The jacuzzi had speakers on the side, so when I would lay on my 
back I could hear the music under the water and it was in the middle of the night so we would like see the stars and that shit was really beautiful. Okay just close your eyes and imagine you are just laying down in a jacuzzi, music is playing, you are stoned as fuck, stars are shining and, and then your gay friend tries to put his hand on your dick. Yep that happened and I was so fucking pissed at this moment so I smacked his hand just before and he played off like it was not on purpose. Looking back at it now I should probably just have told him to fuck off and I wish I did so he would get that I am serious. I just started to ignore him and after we just chill in the jacuzzi for like three hours me and the other girl started talking and kind of ignored him. He ended up getting a bit upset with us so he decided to go back inside and chill on the sofa. As he left I look at the other girl and I'm like what the fuck is wrong with him I would never even kiss a straight guy on the lips. And once again I don't mind gay people okay if you are nice to me I will be nice to you but if you take your fucking cock out and try to touch me in a sexual way I will knock you out. Anyway so we sat in the jacuzzi for like 30 more minutes and then her neighbor came out in the middle of the night and started to complain that we were being loud. I was really confused since we barely talked and the music was so low that we could only hear it under the water but Emily got tired arguing with her so she told me that we should go back inside. That kind of sucked but even the sun started raising so it was probably the time to hit the bed. So we go back inside and while I'm changing I ask her where I should sleep and she said that I could either sleep in the same bed as them since she had a king size bed or I could sleep on the sofa. My body felt like a wreck at this point so I just went upstairs and face planted into her bed and a couple of minutes go by and I can hear them walking up the stairs. At this moment I realized that Kevin will also sleep in the same bed so I moved over to one side and I begged for Emily to lay in the middle all of a sudden i feel a hand making its way around my waist so i fucking knew it was kevin i straight up just grabbed his hand and moved it back then he fucking tried to spoon me and i'm like fuck no so i stood up and walked out of the room the sofa wasn't that bad okay but it was pretty hard to fall asleep and that was it for that day really but we repeated the whole thing once again the next day luckily this time i asked one friend to also come over so hopefully kevin won't try to make a move on him instead of me we didn't have enough hash for that day so i dropped drove over to a friend and bought like four more grams and we did the same thing over again. Now we were like five people though and I was still the only one that could roll joints so it took a while. One of the girls there was drinking some wine and she wasn't really experienced with cannabis so that was definitely not a good idea because Kevin wanted to try the same thing on her this time and as he exhaled the smoke into her lungs she was instantly gone. Her eyes just watered and she was gone for the rest of the night. I'm not even kidding for the next six hours he just laid on the sofa and was completely gone. At least now there was small space in the jacuzzi so I wasn't complaining. Anyway so once again we got high as shit. I nearly even puked this time. We chilled in the jacuzzi and looked at the stairs for like three hours. Then the neighbor came out again and yelled at us so we went back inside. Then we just sat on the sofa and talked shit about them and eventually went to bed. This time I was pretty lucky because Kevin ended up staying downstairs and sleeping on the sofa since one of the other girls there ended up laying in the bed with me. Hold on okay don't be creepy. We didn't end up sleeping together. I had a girlfriend at that time so nothing really happened you dirty fucks. So anyway the next day I woke up feeling like dog shit and I was super hungry and still really tired so I drove home and that was pretty much it. So well, in my humble opinion, of course, without intending to offend anyone who thinks differently from my point of view, but also looking at this matter in a different way and to make it clear with the utmost respect and by considering each and everyone's opinion, I honestly believe that today we learned some important things. First of all, if you are gay and you try to turn people gay, you're a piece of shit, honestly. Just respect other people's sexuality. I like boobs, okay? The only dick I need in my life is mine. Second of all, get a jacuzzi. You will not regret it. Uh, and last but not least, don't even think about sleeping in the same bed as your gay friend if he is high and horny. But overall I had a great time. I will actually be trip sitting them tomorrow since they wanted to try LSD. Leave a like if you would like to see a video about that. Anyway so I hope you enjoyed the story. If you have any stories worth sharing feel free to send them over on Instagram or Discord to be featured in the sub stories part 2 video. Leave a damn like on this video and I will see you in the next one. Mr. Snick is signing out. <laughs>